اذا التعاون المثمر والبناء هو مفتاح النجاح في اسبوع القاهره للمياه ولطالما جمعتنا علاقه شراكه حقيقيه مع وفد الاتحاد الاوروبي في مصر بتبادل الخبرات والرؤى في مختلف قضايا المياه للعمل على حسن اداره الموارد المائيه والوقوف امام تحديات التي يفرضها تغير المناخ وتحويل التحديات المشترك الى فرص حقيقيه أدعو إلى المنصة سعادة السفير كريستيان برجر رئيس وفد الاتحاد الأوروبي لدى مصر مستر برجر Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen First let me congratulate His Excellency Minister Abdelati for the outstanding success of the fourth Cairo Water Week. Congratulations. <laughs> the Cairo Water Week has become the focus of attention of everyone who cares about water as a basic element for life. It has turned out to be the main and largest water event in Egypt and amongst the biggest in the region and in the national platforms. Thus, it has gained the interest and support of all water stakeholders at all levels. I'm particularly pleased to be here today for the second year in a row, and what a change to last year when we were only a few people in the room because of uh, Corona. To celebrate this success, the European Union contribution to the Cairo Water Week emanated from our commitment to Egypt's Sustainable Development Strategy 2030 and to the Sustainable Development Goals in the water sector in Egypt. The European Union is partnering with the Ministry on a strategic level and has been involved since the beginning in 2018 and we are very glad to be part of this success. During those four editions, we organized 11 international and regional events hosting more than 865 participants representing more than 36 countries and 21 international and regional organizations. This year, as we have already heard, we hosted a series of high-level regional events together with the Union for the Mediterranean, the African Development Bank, the European Investment Bank, and the Finnish Water Forum. We covered important topics such as integrated investment planning, the role of the private sector, enhancing policy dialogue and academic research as one of the key elements to develop effective water resources management systems. In a Team Europe spirit, we, including the European Union in Egypt, the European Investment Bank and the Egyptian Ministry of Water, supported innovative researchers and students through three competitions the best graduation projects, STEM school young water inventors, and the three minutes thesis. We believe in the people-to-people -people approach. The European Union, in cooperation with the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation, keeps on supporting Egyptian farmers in adopting successful practices in modern irrigation through the fourth national competition for water conservation for farmers. We have seen a significant development this year as the competition increased awareness on modern irrigation benefits and encouraged farmers to switch to more water efficient techniques through peer-to-peer -peer communication. Dr. Zayed, I would like to thank all the participants and the staff working behind the scenes. Thanks to their commitment and dedication in such difficult times and adapting to the new norms, being able to manage numerous meetings in a hybrid structure. A big thanks to all the water experts who joined physically or virtually and invested their time to learn and to spread knowledge. As we are closing this amazing week, please let me share with you three main success factors of the Cairo Water Week. One, the week stamped Egypt's position as an international hub for integrated water management and knowledge sharing. This has been evident through the high-level policy dialogue platforms conducted with the Egyptian government and amongst others, Team Europe. Two, the week became the main platform for a structured dialogue between governments, development partners, as well as the private sector to improve the investment climate the business environment in the region. 
Three, the week managed to raise the public awareness on the importance of water as a valuable, precious resource for development. Also established collective conscious to treat water scarcity as an opportunity for efficiency and productivity rather than a liability for success. We are indeed proud to be part of these three main success factors through our contribution to the national water awareness campaigns and competitions. Support the establishment of regional policy dialogue platforms covering the Mediterranean region and the African continent. And transferring European Union best practices to support Egypt's aspirations to be a regional beacon for innovative and sustainable water management. Finally, I want to confirm that the European Union and its member states will remain committed to invest in the water sector and to support the Egyptian government's efforts to ensure the sustainable use of water. Let me conclude by congratulating all of you here today and online to this success and thank everyone for their contribution. Thank you very much.